This video will demonstrate how you can download an evaluation version of the Dell plugin for VMware vCenter and show how to install and configure the plugin. You can download the plugin from marketing.dell.com forward slash software dash download. Once you submit the information request form, the browser will redirect to a page with download instructions. Click the link to begin downloading the zip file. You may be prompted to install the Dell Download Manager, which is needed because of the zip file size. When the download has completed, you can extract the zip file to a temporary folder. You should have the Dell Management Plugin Installer executable and a VMDK file. Launch the installer application. You are required to accept the license agreement before the installer will extract additional files such as the OVF template, quick install guide, and README file. You can now import the plugin appliance virtual machine onto a host using VI Client. Click File, Import OVF Template, and select the OVF file. As you go through the wizard, it is recommended that you select the Thick Provisioning Disk Format. Once the appliance import has completed, power on the virtual machine and open the console. The appliance will reboot while performing some initial configuration and eventually present a login prompt. Enter admin for the username. You are required to set a password during the first login. The menu provides the ability to modify the appliance network and time zone settings. Select your time zone. The system will reboot to apply the change. The URL for the administration portal can be found above the console menu. The next step is to enter the URL on a web browser and log in using the password that was set for the admin account. To install a new license file, click on the Upload License link and browse to the license file. Click on Register New vCenter Server. Enter the host name or IP address of a vCenter you would like to use the appliance with and an account to be used by the appliance when communicating with the vCenter. Using VI Client, log in to the vCenter. Notice there is now a Dell Management Center icon under Home Management. From Inventory, Host and Clusters, a Dell Management tab is now available. Before the tab can be used, the host will need to be joined to a connection profile and have an inventory conducted. Clicking on the Dell Management tab for a host without an inventory will display an error. Clicking on the Management Center icon, you are prompted to complete the configuration wizard, which will guide you through the process of configuring the plugin for the vCenter. The first step presents a screen to create a connection profile. You are not required to create a connection profile in this step. A connection profile cannot be saved without having hosts assigned, and the host selected should use the same IDRAC and host credentials. You can create or modify connection profiles later from the Management Center menu. The second step presents a screen to configure events and alarms. By default, only virtualization-related critical and warning events are posted. You can select to post all events to include critical, warning, and informational events that are both hardware and virtualization related. Enabling the alarms will reconfigure the Dell events, adding actions to have the host attempt to enter maintenance mode when critical and warning events are posted. The actions can be customized within VI Client. The Restore Default Alarms button can be used to reset Dell alarms to their default actions. By choosing to enable the alarms, a warning message is shown to inform you that host sending critical events can be placed into maintenance mode. 
The third step presents the screen to obsolete inner proxy information if needed for communication with Dell for online data. Here you can adjust the inventory schedule. By default, inventory will run every morning at 3 a.m. You can also adjust the warranty schedule. By default, warranty data retrieval will occur on Sundays at 3 a.m. The plug-in appliance can be used as a provisioning server for the auto discovery of Dell 11G and newer bare metal servers. For added security, this screen allows you to customize the credentials temporarily added to the iDRAC as part of the auto discovery process. In this screen, you can set the default firmware repository location. Here you can optionally enter the URL to an OpenManage web server. With the configuration wizard completed, we are presented with an overview screen. From this dashboard, we can see there are two non-compliant vSphere hosts. In the recent tasks pane, we can see that the Dell alarms were reconfigured and an inventory has been initiated. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, please visit dell.com forward slash vCenter plugin.